Hello over there, it's Retro Spirits Guide here with Ridge Racer on the PS1 console. Sony's a lovely PlayStation. Here's the ominous Sony logo, foreshadowing its world domination with oppressive musical tones. And here's a polygonal PlayStation logo, showing where the future really is. That's polygons to you and me. Uh, Ridge Racer is a killer app for the PlayStation. But first we've got to play an early 80s style shoot 'em up to uh, unlock some cars. I've never been able to clear that screen. Never been able to do it, always one left. Uh, Ridge Racer, killer app, PlayStation, beautiful. This is the Japanese version. And uh, we're running this on the, uh, emulation, as that happens. Discovered the joys of emulation on my PC, and I bought the original disc. The original disc cost me 12 English pounds. It's got a lovely little manual in there, and uh, it had the spine card and the uh, the other little card that they sometimes come with. It's like a little, I don't know what to call it really. It's like a postcard that you can fill in stuff, like multiple choice questions, like what did you have for tea last night, and how long is your armpit hair? Oh, we've got a lady walking across the screen. So a killer app for the PlayStation. So Ridge Racer came out in the arcades in kind of 92, 93, I think. PlayStation came out in 94. And they quickly chucked this over onto the PlayStation. They looked at the specs. They said, yeah, this is dual. Whacked it over. What we've got is a totally serviceable version of Ridge Racer for a home console. Oh, wonderful. The cutting edge arcade machine. And uh, playing it again these days, picking it up again, playing it again, it's actually pretty cool. Yeah, you can see why the PlayStation kind of was popular. We've got some beautiful Japanese colour schemes here. We've got the guy from the B-52's music group announcing himself and what's happening on the screen to you, the player. We've got smooth frame weight, weight, frame rate, and uh, we have polygonal breakup and texture warping, as was the PlayStation's corner card. There's a bit of pop in there. Not a huge amount, but a bit. Um, we've got intense musical accompaniment. Uh, apparently, I made a track record. But this is classic Ridge Racer. And it's a thing of beauty. Oh, I've lost control of my Ridge Racer car there. Yeah, it's a pretty decent looking game, isn't it? I mean, it lacks whiting and shadowing. But then there is an arcade machine did as well. The textures are a lot lower res, and the geometry is lower res. But unless you run them side by side, probably as a layman back in the day, you wouldn't have noticed. Now, I never played the Japanese version back in the day. I only played the PAL version in a demo pod. And I think I remember that version having borders and the frame rate being a bit stinky. But on Japanese release, you can see why... You can see, well, you can see why it was so popular. It is a stunning conversion. Considering it's a launch title, this replay music is a genius. Oh, yeah. Um, they don't make games with soundtracks like this anymore. Some would say, thankfully, but I say, we need more of this. Yeah, this is a cool game. I do like this game. And they did a high res upgrade of this for Ridge Racer Type 4. They stuck a high res version on the disc. But that version, although it is high res and higher frame rate, it's pretty decent. There's no enemy cars to overtake. It's just like a time trial edition. So it's not quite the full Ridge Racer experience, unfortunately. To get that, you have to get this launch tile. Ooh, lovely transparency. Uh, we've got very few tracks. We have this version of the track, which goes from like a day and night cycle. Then there's like the longer version of the track, which I've never been very good at. 
And like I said, I've never unlocked the other cars in this game. Because you can play all the other cars that are all good. Never been good enough to get them. Lovely. Classic tune. So, when you went to your local Virgin Megastore HMV and you played your demo pod, the PlayStation might have had Ridge Racer on it, in which case you'd have gone, ooh, that's tasty. It might have had um, Toshinden on it, in which case you'd have gone, yeah, something stinky. But if you were looking at this in comparison to the Sega Saturn, and that had Daytona USA on it, you would have plumped for this nine times out of ten. But those wine people at the Persian Mega Store who wanted to sell you a more expensive sound would have put Panzer Dragoon on. And then it would have been a tougher choice because Panzer Dragoon is a legendary shooter. Mm. If you were feeling flush, like I wasn't at the time, you would have bought both, I guess. Now the one thing this, that does suck about Ridge Racer, and it always has sucked back in, the, from back in the day, is the collision model. So the cars do like a weird kind of they just turn when you hit them. They don't, there's no real collision modeling. It's just some sort of canned animation. There's no fun. And also, enemy cars can kind of like glitch through you all the time, which is a bit weird. Other than that, it's a fun arcade knockabout. Highly recommended. Import. £12. For a minty one with a uh, spine card and a registration card, I think they're called. Can't go wrong with that. I think the PAL one's probably more expensive. Lower frame rate and boarded from what I remember. But yeah, total killer app and certainly worth playing to this very day. It's, fun. it's a fun game. Uh, we get 12 quid worth of fun out of it. Mm, yes. 12 quid can buy you a lot of gameplay these days, especially when indie, indie developers. Here you get a lovely, say, PlayStation disc with a lovely manual. Uh, and you get the smug satisfaction of buying a actual copy of a real game that existed since 1994 for £12. I can't say for anyone. Iconic tunnels in this game. It's the yellow tunnels, wasn't it? Everybody loved the yellow tunnels. I've got a feeling the arcade game did do a bit of a uh, bit more of a in this version. Anyway, highly recommended. PlayStation, launch title. Yeah, it was a. with this one, with this is Namco. PlayStation Namco, Sony and Namco. Marriage Made in Heaven, foregone conclusion. World Domination. This tune, though. Yes. Alright then. Ta-ra.